I was really delighted to give the talk on one of my favorite topics, and that's HER2, advanced breast cancer. And as you all know, it used to be basically a death sentence when a patient got that diagnosis that HER2 really told us that the patient's tumor was very aggressive and the patient wasn't going to do well. But in the recent years, we've had a lot of really good therapies that have been approved and evaluated for HER2 positive breast cancer. One was using um, pertuzumab and trastuzumab in the Cleopatra trial that I just published the final results of that in the past year, showing that at eight years, 37% of these patients with advanced HER2 positive breast cancer were still alive after they'd gotten a taxane pertuzumab and trastuzumab, which is really truly remarkable. And since that time, we've really had the development, especially in the last year, of several new agents in HER2 positive disease. One is trastuzumab derexican or TDXD, which showed a 61% response rate in these patients who had multiple pretreatments, about two thirds had had pertuzumab already. So this is an extremely active drug and approved in the US in the last year. One of the, the side effects of trastuzumab derexican was interstitial lung disease. So that's something that we certainly need to watch out for with that drug. And then the other really great advance was the um, use of tucatinib, which is a, a HER2 specific tyrosine kinase inhibitor. And this study was in patients who had HER2 advanced disease who had received, all had received TDM1 and pertuzumab and had a very good outcome with a significantly improved progression-free and overall survival. So that's pretty remarkable after they already had had all this other treatment. And the, the big thing about the tucatinib study was that about half of the patients had brain metastases and, and many of these active brain metastases. And there was a high um, progression-free survival benefit in the group that got the tucatinib, capecitabine and trastuzumab compared to those who did not. And um, this drug was also approved in the US recently too. So we're really excited about these advances, at least these two new drugs. And then margituximab is another one that it's an FC engineered um, trastuzumab like molecule that just got approved. And it, it really shows marginal benefit, but we'll see if, if something more will come of that in, in the future. So I'm very excited. Um, when you look online now, there's over 500 studies in advanced HER2 positive breast cancer looking at other agents. So I think that it's all good news for patients who have this diagnosis. So I'm thrilled to be able to talk about it at the meeting and be able to talk to you today about it. Well, another point that I wanted to make was that we do have some older drugs, for example, Everolimus, that's been shown in some the Bolero studies to actually have a benefit for patients who have HER2 positive advanced breast cancer and have the PIK3CA mutation in their tumors. So that's something to remember, um, Everolimus and mTOR inhibitor. And also the CDK4-6 inhibitors look very active in HER2 positive disease. Thank <music> you.